Well, I'm making this bone to remind people that there are millions of our fellow human beings that are victims of genocide all over the world. The people are being killed uh, each and every day indiscriminately, and we need to raise our voices. We're not going to stop the, the human rights abuses in Sudan and in uh, Congo and in uh, Burma uh, unless we come together and demand that it happens. Creative techniques like, you know, uh, you know, one million bones is a way to raise our voices, is, to, is a way to show that we know what's going on, that we care, that we expect our leaders to do something. And I feel privileged to be part of a campaign that is, uh, that is promoting human rights. Beyond just trying to influence policy, helps raise awareness amongst, you know, future generations. I mean, I want kids in high school and junior high, in junior high to you know, to say, look at this and say, boy, what's, what, what is this all about? And then becoming more involved. I mean, we're all world citizens. Uh, and, um, and I'm a believer that uh, we're, we're all, we all share the responsibility to help improve the lives of not just our fellow citizens in this country, but our fellow human beings all around the world. I've always felt that uh, one person can make a difference, just one person. Um, you know, uh, I've been in a I've been involved in a lot of initiatives, uh, human rights initiatives. That one person came to me and asked me, "Could you take a leadership role and do something?" Sometimes it only takes one person to convince a member of Congress or to convince a senator or a foreign leader or even our president to uh, to do something. Uh, the one thing I do know is, if, we, if we're silent, nothing's going to change.